700 labels. Hi everyone, it's been a while. If you're new here, my name is Riz. I am the owner of Alex and Andre AU. I make scrunchies, I sell them in the market, and I also do have a website. It's www.alexandandre.com.au. You can also follow us on our socials. We've got Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. I am not going to make this intro any longer. I'm rushing to make some stock for the market this weekend, Friday and Saturday. So I've run out of um, labels. I've got one sample here. This one, it's like that. I'm gonna share with you guys how I make this because a couple of months ago, I think a couple of months or a couple of weeks ago, someone asked me to make a video on how I make the labels that I use for my scrunchie. So what you will need to make your own clothing label or in my case scrunchie label is a Jet Pro soft stretch heat transfer paper. Now I got this from Amazon. I will add the link in the description box below. I also use bias binding because it's easier. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is cut it into the size that I want. You also of course need a printer. Now if you're using a heat transfer, you can't use laser printer. You need to have an inkjet printer. I will show you. The one that I've got is this one. I have the Workforce Pro WF 3720. It's Epson. Also, um, I only use iron, just a small one. If you have those heat press, that's fine as well, but I find this easier. You will also need a guillotine, guillotine cutter. Next is you're going to want to edit your design, which in my case is my logo is just simple. So I just use, I just use word. I adjust it to the size of my bias binding. Takes a while to perfect the size that you're going to need, especially if you have a specific bias binding that you're using. Once you've sorted out your design and the size that you want, make sure that your logo is inverted. So that, that's the size that I use. And it took me a while to perfect the proper size that I need, but what I did first is Print it in an A4 paper, not the actual heat transfer paper. Then cut it up, see if it fits on your ribbon or on your bias binding or whatever fabric you're using for the label. So you don't waste the heat transfer paper because they are expensive. Anyways, after that, you're just gonna have to print the whole thing. A4. And then I just want to make sure it's black and white so this is what it looks like once you've printed it out next is we're just going to cut it so it's easier for me to transfer it in the cloth Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and print everything. I'm just now going to show you two different ways on how I cut my labels according to the size of my bias binding or the fabric that I'm going to use for my actual label. So what I do, you can use this one, this rotary blade cutter, and just a ruler. So that's one way to cut it or you can use a guillotine cutter
So that's the other way to cut it. Again, the first time you're going to do it, it's going to be a trial and error. You're gonna to have to do different, um, different adjustments. That's why I said earlier that you need to use the normal A4 paper so you don't have so you don't end up wasting heat transfer paper because they are quite expensive so as you can see it will fit perfectly in my fabric there would be just a little bit but I can always just cut it okay just gonna go ahead and cut everything So that's all we've got in there all cut and finished now we are gonna move on to the next step Okay, so like I said, you can use heat press, but for me, this small iron works fine. Again, it depends on your settings. I just test it out and then I just press it for 13 seconds and then go on to the next one, 13 seconds. Again, like I said, do trial. Just check first which one works for you. It's a bit cold now. I will be able to show you what it looks like sometimes it's not going to be perfect there are times that oh well this one's perfect <laughs> but again sometimes it's not going to be perfect so you just have to uh, make extra
here's what I'm saying. Sometimes everything will not come out perfect. But the other ones are perfect. Apart from that thing in the middle. I think when, when you hit it too much. And that's it. All we have to do now is cut the labels individually. I hope you guys find this tutorial useful and if you have any questions, comment down below or send me a message. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on our next video. Thank you. Bye bye.